16.2a quadratic formula, finding the formula. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to solve by completing the square a typical trinomial. We're going to subtract our number from both sides. I'm going to move this over to the side here. So we get ax squared plus bx equals a negative oops, that's supposed to be an x here, equals a negative c. Then we divide everything by a because we want our coefficient in front of our x squared to be 1. So now we have x squared plus b a x equal to a negative c over a. So now we take 1 half times our b a that means we get b over 2a quantity squared is equal to our c. So that means b or c equals b squared all over 4a squared. Okay, let's go straight to our perfect square here. That means we're going to have x, our sign in the middle is plus b over 2a quantity squared equal to our negative c over a whoops that's supposed to be a c plus b squared all over 4a squared. Now we're probably going to do a little bit of scratch, scratch work here. It looks like our common denominator is going to be 4a squared so that means we need to upscale or up um, build up our denominator for the negative c over a. We want 4a squared, so we're going to multiply by 4a. So that's going to give us a negative 4ac. Okay, so that means that we get x plus b over 2a quantity squared equal to our b squared over 4a squared minus the 4ac. Okay, now we're going to take the square root of both sides. So now we have x plus b over 2a equal to plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac and then the square root of 4a squared is just going to be 2a. Now we'll subtract b over 2a from both sides. And so we're going to get that our quadratic formula is going to be this, x equal to plus or minus, whoops, sorry, it's going to be negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over our common denominator of 2a. And we did it.